Oh, I just got hammered. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Oh my gosh. That might be a big one. It's a good one. I'm coming with you. What's up, y'all? Welcome to today's video. I'm out here at the Port Aransas Jetties. Um, and it looks beautiful out here. I don't fish out here a ton. I don't really know what's going on, but we're gonna see if we can catch some fish. We've got some live shrimp. We're gonna throw them on our popping cork to start, and we're gonna bounce around, see if we can figure out where these fish are. We're kind of starting on the inside of the jetty. Supposedly there's trout up in here right now, but I have no idea what to expect. So Caroline and I are about to uh, get after it. There she is over there, putting sunscreen on. Gotta keep the sun off of us, but hopefully we can catch some keepers today. It's gonna be quite a haul to get them up. You see that drop off. There's like no way to go down there and get them. So we're going to have to figure that out, but we're ready. Let's so we'll grab this first and get our popping cork rods. Or if you want to just start chunking a lure, you can, I don't care. Beautiful live shrimp in there. Okay. See fish down there they could be bait stealers but also going to deepen up a little bit and let's hope for some trout y'all hope current's not moving too bad it's it's ripping current is hauling so we might want to actually space out oh there's a bunch of trout right there dang oh look at those God, look at that school of whatever that is. Do you see that passing by? It's huge. They're like, it they might be giant um, pilchards. I don't know. Oh, there's hundreds of them. Do you see them? They're right on top of the rocks under the water. Oh, I see a sheep's head down there, man. I literally see a sheep's head down there. Hey, I, I see sheepies right over the, the rocks that are under the water. Let's see if I can get him. Ooh, look at that. There's a ray out there. What you got? A oh, speckled trout. He ain't gonna keep, but let's go. Woo! No, not a keeper. He was up by the, the rocks. That's a very pretty trout. A little speck at the jetties, y'all. All right. Where where was he? Right off the rocks. Oh, I see one. What is that? That's a big fish. Is that a trout? First fish at the jetties. Woohoo! All right, y'all, the jetties ain't it. We caught that one trout out there, but we were just getting hit by bait stealers. The current was too strong for our tackle we had. I mean, we're just down here on vacation, so we're not gonna waste our time there. We're going to the tried and true best spot in Port Aransas, and we're gonna go out on our little mini jetty. Hopefully we have it all to ourselves today. Looks like there's a guy over there, but we can't waste time on those bait stealers. These live shrimp are precious so we're gonna see if we can catch some keeper fish out here off of our little uh, secret jetty y'all the water is beautiful out here let's hope trout are here today as well and chewing it's not half as windy here current is not ripping and we've got the whole place to ourselves check it out just us i'm excited Ooh, I got hit hard first throw. Oh yeah, they're out there chasing bait again. Yeah, they're, they're all in here chasing bait. Oh my gosh. Oh, some rays. That's so cool. I just got hit and I hooked it. Yep, trout ski. Troutski, y'all. It's a speck. It's a speck. And that's a start. It's a, that's a little guy. We got a theory, though, that the big ones like lures. So, might try the lures. See if we can get any keepers that way. 
Oh, get him, Caroline. Caroline hooked one. Speck. No, it's a big sandy. Yeah, he did. Wow. Sandy. Back in the water. There you go. Got a little scent on it now. We need like a big trout bait. Okay, one, two, three. And I got him. Okay, I just gotta wait a little bit. You got a thump. Let's see. I got a speck. So, some little specks out there so far on the shrimp. Which is probably why I've got to wait a little bit longer to set the hook on them. Man, I might just throw a lure then. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Make it to the water, bud. Okay. All right, let's see, get them on lures. On the drop, I hit the water and got an eat. It doesn't feel better than others, but sometimes they run at you. I mean, this is, why would we go anywhere else? <laughs> they keep going in though. Yeah, we need one to keep, so I'm hoping you're a big lure. Maybe get one. I'm going back to a live. There's one. There we go. Yeah, they want the shrimp, y'all. He just little. Really quick, I wanted to take a second to tell y'all about the Airbnb that we stayed at on this trip. This is the Three Bass Cabin in Aransas Pass, Texas. It's a short drive to the Port A Ferry where we're doing all of our saltwater fishing right now, but this cabin is awesome. It has a screened in porch that is so nice to sit out and enjoy with your friends and family. But the best part is it has a private stocked pond in the backyard. We did some bass fishing and just had a blast staying here. I'll have a link in the description if you want to check out this place and stay here for yourself. Now back to the fishing action. All right, let's throw him out there. Oh, I just got hammered. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Feels better. Yeah, that's a pretty good one, I think. No. Sandy. I guess we're not going to keep Sandy's today. Yeah. Unless they choke it. Do you hear that? Yeah. I do. Caroline got a trout, but what kind and what size? No, not a trout. What is that? Oh my gosh, that's the biggest pinfish I've ever seen. <laughs> oh boy. The the nuts and Carolyn's got a trout, some type, I believe. This big old ship is sucking all the water out of here. Oh, I think that's a good spec, Caroline. Hold on. Oh, that's a keeper. Oh, I got good catch. Beautiful trout. Good catch, Caroline. Back in the water. He was over there. Yeah. I saw that. Well, that's what I'm saying. You might want to, we might have to move around and figure out where they're at. What you've got. Your head down there. It's a good one. Coming with you. Yep, 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 yep. Nice, nice. That's another good one, but he's, uh, he's got to be under if that other one was under. Big 14er. Good catch. I'm just gonna be real in now. Caroline's on the specs. <laughs> oh, yep. There we go. I got one. There he is. Just a little, a wee lad.
There's one. And we got him. Speck. Baby trout. There's one. That feels pretty good. Definitely a nice trout. Oh yeah. Double nub, huh? Caroline claims to have a fish as well. Uh, I got about a 16. Just short of the new limit they're doing. Oh my gosh. That might be a big one. Like just a good trout. He hit it so hard. but he ain't gonna keep 14 and a half there you go caroline big trout big trout yeah big trout big trout bring that line to me got a girl good catch good catch all right let's see if i can 16 incher pretty pretty fish good catch caroline there he goes. Woo! Another nice speck. He ain't gonna keep though. Work, 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 work. You got hit? Oh, what was that? Did that just pull drag when it. What the heck was that? Oh, I got one on the big shrimp. He's not even that big of a trout, though. Actually, it's a really nice trout. Golly. But he ain't gonna keep. <laughs> Woo. Nice 14er. Oh, that feels better than what I've been catching. Yeah, that's better. I might have a keeper, Caroline. That's a good trout, but I don't know. Oh. oh, 15. If it was, if it was a year earlier, we'd have a lot of keepers. Or is that your line? That was a fish. <gasps> a new species. It? It's a bluefish. Wait, I've never caught one of these. Wait, that's what's cutting you. Is it? Yeah. These get big. Bluefish. One fish, two fish, three fish. Bluefish. Okay, hey, hey, hey. Ooh. That is cool. This is what uh, I think your dad said he caught in New York that time. Serrated teeth. Bluefish. Interesting. So that's what is stealing our bait and cutting our lures. Just switch sides and there's specks over here as well. A little 12 incher though. Oh my gosh. Instantly got a fish. Can you bring the shrimp so that we'll know? Yeah. Oh. Help me. Help me. Get it. What is that? It's a big bluefish? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, big blue fish. <laughs> Get it in here. <laughs> this thing sucks. 
Caroline caught a blue fish. We caught a blue fish. Oh my gosh. These things are cool. They're like weird, so they're, I think they're oily. They're kind of like mackerel, I think. And you gotta, like, people make like fish dips out of them. Oh, yeah. I like them on fried. Yeah. Hey That's the things I've been seeing tons of schools of. Oh, you got one though. He's on, he's on, I see him. It's blue fish. That's, they're cool, I mean. They are energetic. Yeah, they're, they're feisty fish. Ah! Good sardines for your diet. Canned blue fish. Yeah. All right, we are back at the Airbnb. I'm chilling on the screened in porch. This is my favorite little place to go after a long, hard day of fishing out in the sun. Man, it's, it just feels so nice out here. Got the private bass pond in the back. I don't know if y'all can see or not. Um, but I'm chilling here. We tore the fish up today. I mean, it felt like we caught like 30 trout. No keepers today with that new like regulation they have of it's got to be 17 inches. It's pretty big for a trout. We caught a ton of 16 and 15 inches, but no keepers today, which is fine. We got fish to go home with already from the first day, but we had an absolute blast out there at the secret oasis, uh, fishing paradise as I call it. So if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button for me, leave a comment, and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on any future Texas fishing action. With that being said, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.